going on? I hope y'all are having a dope ass day. It's your boy Alex and I am back today with another reaction video. Wait, what? No, I'm not. Not a reaction video, but a Q&A. Gotten a lot of requests to do a Q&A because y'all are so interested in my life. And I'm coming here with some Pringles. Been studying all day. Decided to make a little video as a break. So here I am doing a Q&A. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And if so, dope. What interested you to go into law school? In college, I originally wanted to go to medical school. And then after taking some classes, I looked at the rest of the classes I was going to have to take. And I was like, what the hell? Nah. But I kind of just blindly jumped into the law school and then stuck with it. Very well thought out. Can you please explain your tattoos? I've been thinking about getting one and it made me curious about yours. Well, my tattoos essentially are things that I either want to remember, things that I have have overcome or things that just drive me. Are you down to react to your fans music? Through your metal journey, you've picked up a lot of metalhead fans and I'm sure there's a couple out there that make music. Would you ever give it a listen? Yes, and I already have. Gershock is one of those. I'm a fucking mess. What if I told you Beartooth Band's new album, Disease, slaps? Would you do a whole album review? Don't lie, you would. So why'd you ask the question? What was the first hip hop slash rap song or group that got you into loving the genre? And what made you choose metal to react to? It was Eminem because as a kid I was like, yo, I want to be a little deviant, street youth, delinquent, and I want to be listening to stuff that has the most cussing. Rap was that. What got me into metal? I had a reaction channel where I was doing just predominantly hip hop and rap videos, and then a lot of comments were asking me to branch out to different things. I did K-pop, and then heavy metal just became one of those branches. What initially inspired you to start listening to metal? Peep the last question! Who in your life has inspired you the most? What do you aspire to be like? What do you Why did you decide to go to law school? Name one thing on your bucket list that you want to do most. How's that for questions? That's pretty good. We'll answer a couple of these. Who in your life has inspired you the most? My mom, she's just been the one who's like built up my confidence, not only told me, but showed me how to be successful. And then people who are not like a cheesy answer or people like Gary Vaynerchuk or Russ. As a hip hop fan, what is your opinion so far on the metal community as a whole? Thanks, James. It's not what I expected. Will Sarah ever make an appearance in your reaction videos again? Why don't you ask her? Instagram right here. How has your perception of music changed since you started reacting to metal music? It's made me realize that people judge music a ton and you cannot really experience what you like and what you dislike without listening to fucking everything. Why do you only react to radio metal like Slipknot? Well, I don't. I react to a good amount of underground metal, react to as much metal as I possibly can, and Slipknot is just badass, so I like reacting to that. Will you start reacting to songs that are not sung in English? C. If you could meet any metal band except Trivium or multiple, who would they be? That's a good question. Anybody who wanted to take the time to meet my dumb ass, that's who I'd want to meet. How many more times do I have to comment Welcome Home by Coed and Cambria? 157. But no, really outside of school and YouTubes, what work do you do? Uh, not much much anything. That pretty much takes up 25 hours a day. Did you see Mike the Music Snob's parody of you? Who? Hey Alex, you're very beautiful and I think you wear too many clothes. Just my opinion. What music genre will you be diving into next? Probably some more heavy metal. If you could only choose between being a hip hop head or a metal head, which would you be? Uh... As you're a fan of tattoos, I was wondering if you thinking of getting something to represent your new love for metal. Maybe a cool Slipknot S, or there are plenty of great artwork from album covers to take inspiration from. Don't know if I am currently thinking about it, but I have thought about it. Uh... Besides The Rocker, such a good movie by the way, what are a couple of other of your favorite movies? My favorite movies, you know, I, I love American Beauty. Love movies like Pleasantville, Wolf of Wall Street. I like. I, it, it really depends on the day what my favorite movie is. Uh, how long have you been with your girlfriend and how did you meet? We have been together since July 3rd, 2017. We met actually on Tinder. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Who is your favorite singular non-rap slash non-metal artist and what is your favorite non-rap slash non-metal group? It's an awesome question. Michael fucking Jackson! Oh god. I would argue Red Hot Chili Peppers, but if you consider like the overlap of rock and metal, then someone who's definitely not, uh, boys to men. If you had to create a Northern American tour, what metal bands would be on the lineup? Max amount of bands should be five. So who would you want to headline in the tour, and who would be guests? I would want to have the main event be Metallica and Megadeth, and then go song for song. One group does a song, and then the next group does a song, and it's like a Metallica versus Megadeth tour. So those two, and then the three opening acts could be Slipknot, Nightwish, and System of a Down. I think that would reach out to a bunch of people. I think that'd be a badass concert. What are your favorite metal vocals so far? Tip, Ronnie James Dio, Bruce Dickinson, Iron Maiden, and Rob Alford, Judas Priest are good answers. Okay, uh, looks like you answered it for me. I love good old David from Disturbed. Out of all your reactions on metal songs you've done so far, which concert would you want to see the most? 
Slipknot. Did you expect what you achieved on YouTube? Love from Mexico, dude. No. Any plans of upgrading that corner you film your videos in? It looks really uncomfortable and can't bear the thought of you sitting there. Uh, no. Who is your favorite metal band you've reacted to? Big fan, brother, so it'd be awesome if you use this one. Uh, I don't really like this question because it really depends on the day. Some days I like one band, another day I like a different band, so it really just depends on the day, my mood, my energy, whatever the hell, it differs. Would you consider uploading two reactions a day? I've done that before, but not on a consistent basis. So, consistently, no. Randomly, on occasion, yes. Have you been to any concerts? If so, which one? And have you met any bands or band members? Yes! The answer to all the above is Trivium, my only concert, and I did meet them. What is the best slash worst thing about law school? Well, the best thing about law school is you are learning knowledge that not many people have. You get to use words like res ipsa loquitur and stuff like that. It's dope. And the worst thing about law school is it takes up a big portion of your life. So, uh, if you don't want to have free time, go to law school. And if you want to have zero free time, go to law school and have a YouTube channel. How much time does it take to shoot and edit your videos? Well, from start to finish, if I am going to shoot, edit, and upload, it takes about three hours for me. And that's going fast. Would you be up for a meet and greet for people that live in the Houston area or elsewhere if they wanted to travel. Yeah, sure. If anybody gave a fuck about meeting me, sure. Quitting reactions, you wish. No. Do you make any money from the YouTube channel? A little bit, but not enough for me to drop out of law school yet. Will you grow a full beard, brother? Brother? I would if I could. I would if I could. What are your favorite rap artists? I'm a huge metalhead, but I like a lot of stuff from Denzel Curry, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, etc. Love J. Cole, love Kendrick, love Andre 3000, love Mac Miller, and the list can go on and on and on, obviously, but those are like my top. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it's something you like, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and you might as well because you just watched this whole damn thing. Love you guys so much. That is all I got for you today, so keep smiling, keep being yourself. Don't let anybody throw shade at you. I will see you tomorrow. That's a motherfucking fact, though. Yeah, peace.